William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're in Glasgow, Scotland. Joined by Kaz Farouk, British champion, and Sonny Edwards. Just sparred each other. How was it? Yeah, a good spar. Um, I came up here five weeks ago, you know, when the World Boxing Super Series was on. But um, I weren't in camp then, so I didn't bring my spar and stuff. And I arranged with, you know, this is Sam Kinnock's gym. So I asked him, I'm, I knew I was coming up now, and I wanted to spar Cash. You know what I mean? He's bantamweight and British champion, defended it, what? Three times, right? No, two, no, two no third's days, so coming up, isn't it? Coming up to an outright, so really in preparation for, I've got you know like quite a tough Mexican. Can't get much better sparring in Britain than that. Do you know what I mean? So I've had, like I said, I've had a good camp. I've been sparring my brother. I've been sparring Lee. Um, now sparring good, good ten rounds there with Cash, and it was a very good spar. You know what I mean, so I'm learning, learning. What about you, Cash? How did you find oh, it with Sonny? It's something different. You know what I mean? And uh, Sonny's been about the same time as me, same age as me, so. I mean, I've seen him operate the like, lower weights, and you know, he's a top, top amateur. You know, I mean, he's a stone world's a pro, and you now he can go all the way, definitely. And different style from spine wise, you know, and he's good moving and better, and definitely a good spine. Mm. Now, this is interesting. Obviously, Lee McGregor joined Steel City Gym, so he's in camp with Sonny all the time. Uh, they're good mates, and uh, a fight with uh, you and Lee has been talked about. Um, in fact, I spoke, spoke to him today, uh-huh. and he said that fight should have already been made, and uh, that. He's more keen than you are. Do you want to sort of respond no, well, to that? I, I wouldn't really say that to be honest. I'm a person that let my manager do the thing. You know what I mean? I'm quite, I keep myself to myself and I'm a management, do the managing side of it. I'm a fire at the end of the day. My manager said, box him next week, I'll do it. You know, and, you know, and that because you remember, first of all, when I won the British style, it was against Jamie Wilson. I was a manager for us. So I won that straight away, MTK offered Ian Butcher. So that was seven weeks after my fight straight away. So I took on to that. Then I had a mandatory, Cal Williams. So I was, I was too basically too uh, booked in with two fights already. So that fight couldn't have happened one way or another. Mm. And Ian, uh, Lee McGregor had with, um, I think he was having problems with um, McGuigan. So, I mean, the fight couldn't have happened. And I was so, you know, I mean, it'll happen under the year, definitely. And I want, I want the fight as much as he does, you know. But he's got Scott Allen ahead of him, now, which is his main focus, you know. Mm. Yeah, he defends that Commonwealth nah, this Saturday right. night. But obviously, if you defend that British outright nah, and win yeah. it outright, and... Uh, he keeps that Commonwealth, then it's a no-brainer, no, really. No, because think about it. It's us two banterweights are the same weight. You know, we're the same age as well, from the same country. And what chances is that, you know, I mean, he's from Edinburgh, I'm from uh, Glasgow. You know, that's once, you don't get that a lot up in uh, Scotland. You get that in England quite a lot, but you don't get up in Scotland. Two boys are the same age, same weight, and same country as well. Both titles are You know, and yeah. two titles, the major titles in Ninoff and Britain, you know, I mean, Commonwealth and British. So, you know, that's going to definitely happen under the year. We hope so. Sonny, how do you think it'd go? It'd be a very good fight. It'd be a, it'd be a very, very good fight. Um, Lee's very heavy-handed. Cash very physically strong on the inside. I felt that there today, waiting. Obviously, I'm boxing at the weight below him. And even though it's only a couple pounds in it, you can feel it. And, and, and like I said, Cash is physically strong. I think it's a fight that definitely has to happen. Um, obviously, take away your Josh Taylor and maybe Ricky Burns. Cash and Lee are arguably the two biggest Scottish names out there at the moment I can't think of anyone more until no I head. think you're right yeah. and um, obviously these MTK shows that are going on in Scotland I think that would probably be the, the ideal place I've had I'm not too sure what Cash's sort of promotional obligations are but um, I feel like that would make the most sense at the back end of the year um, obviously Lee's got to get through I say it, it obviously is a tough fight Scotland is not coming just to fall over so um, he's got to get through that first obviously I don't know what Cash has got in the pipeline but I think it makes a lot of sense now, and I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, like he said, they're both the same age, same age as me, 23. So I wouldn't be surprised if that fight happens more than once in, in, in their careers. Um, you know, what I mean, they meet now, British, albeit they both carry on winning, British and Commonwealth, the two main domestic titles. One pushes on, one regroups. There's no no shame to losing to, to good fighters, and and for either way, obviously. <laughs> my loyalties lie to Lee. You know what I mean, he, he trains me. I spend a lot of time with him. But this is the first time I've met Cash, and very, very nice, and very nice bloke. He's trained a very nice man. Was in Ross Murray's corner when I boxed him. Mm. Um, but you know what I mean? It's a boxing family. You, you see it time and time again. There'll be build up, there'll be back and forth. But once that final bell's gone and, and the winner's decided, 
it, there's no reason for there to be any animosity between any fighters, and I don't think there would be between Lee and, and Cash now. I don't think there is anyway, it's just Lee's young, he's ambitious, he's felt McGuigan's, or, yeah, McGuigan's held him back, you know, 10 months I think he was out in the ring for, and now he's getting busy and he's trying to chomp at every bit, just like I've, I've done, so I know exactly the position he's in. So I'm just sort of trying to get those fights that push you on to the next level, and the British title is the best belt in Britain, clearly, by way, I mean, so it's a belt that I want to get my hands on. So I, I can only imagine Lee is the exact same and Cash wants to defend it. So I personally think it would make most sense, you know, if it was me. Cash has got a voluntary win your belt outright, you know, because that's such a big thing to do. Mm. And then I wouldn't be surprised if Cash wins his uh, belt outright and then defends it to Lee. Because I don't think Cash isn't the type of person to, you know, be sort of ducking and diving and doing what Tommy Frank's done. You know, I want to go down this route, this route, that route. I don't think they like that. Proper boxing people want to take the proper boxing route. Um, and I feel like, like Cash said, he wants that fight to happen at the end of the year. I know Lee does, so... And obviously I've sparred Lee probably 30, 40 rounds in the last five, six weeks. Obviously I've just done 10 rounds there. And it's a fight I'd be sat front row for, do you know what I mean? It'd be a very good fight. Mm -hmm. Both heavy-handed, both aggressive, both let their hands go, so it'd be all action. Um, mm -hmm. It would need a good platform, a good undercard, and, and a good venue. And, and like I said, it'd be one I'd be excited for. Mm -hmm. Cash, would you be alright with boxing on an MTK bill? Definitely, you know, anywhere, you know, as long as the fight makes sense and, you know, end of the day, it's down to my management where they want it. Rings are ring, end of the day, you can fight. You know, it doesn't make sense if it's in England, Scotland, in his hometown, I'm willing to fight, you know, but whenever, whenever the f deal's right, everything's perfect, I mean, it'll definitely happen, but end of the day, I'm a fighter, I'll fight him any time of the year, you know, and it's down to my management, he sorts all out, and he only just has to just call me up and I'll be ready. You know, same as Lee as well, Lee be in the same position as me, you know, he's a, he's a boxer and his manager phones him up, he'll be in the same position as me. He'll be ready to fight, you know, because I won the fight as much as he does at the end of the day. But see what it is, he needs to remember, I was booked him in the last two fights, but both just straight away after I won the tie. And then you had a I, man No, no, MTK, Danny won phone as my manager up, he offered us a deal and we took the fight because it was a good deal, yeah. seven weeks after the fight and after I had a mandatory with Kyle Williams, so mm. you know, I mean, that's two fights, you know, I, mean, I was booked in with already and now I've got one more defence, you know, I mean, it's not my manager what's going to happen with the next defence, you know, I mean, but I think they probably want me to win out right, like Sonny said, and, you know, I mean, then we can the fight can happen in the end of the year. And at yeah. the end of the day, sorry to interrupt, yeah. at the end of the day, more than anything, yeah, the belts are nice, the British title's nice, Commonwealth title nice, but we're boxers, we need to get paid, you know what I mean, we need to get paid, the deal has to be right, and especially if Cash wins it out, right, he has every right to sort of go elsewhere at that stage but mm. if that fight's offering if, if that's the most lucrative fight all scotland like i said for those two titles doesn't happen very often like cash alluded to earlier but as long as the deal's right the fighters need to get paid man you can't you can't pay bills you can't put roof over your head with belt you know what i mean so get the fights paid well they'll put on a good show and, and if the winner pushes on straight away and the loser comes again it's as simple as that and then who knows two three years down, down the line both are quality operators that will definitely hit european level push world level, take over world, who knows? But um, they may meet again, and it might be, instead of being at, I don't know, the Emirates Arena, I think that's what it's called, what? Yeah, Emirates it, Arena, it yeah. It might be at the SSE the next time, you know what I mean? So, who knows, when, at, at this age as well, being pushed together at this age shows the, the level they're operating at already. Look at people like Dubois and Gorman. Obviously, they're heavyweights, we can't compare our weights to heavyweights, but there's so many people that want to see that fight, so that's only a good thing, do you know what I mean? For, for, for Lee and Cash. Because so many people calling for it, and that's that's when fights mean the most. And I mean, people actually want to see it rather than a good a good fight on paper. People actually want to see that. Fight. So, like Cash said, I think it's going to happen at the end of the year. So. All right, Cash, best of luck right, in trying right. to win that uh, British outright. Hopefully, Lee does the business on Saturday, and uh, no. you two can make the fight. No, I definitely end up. Man, thank you. Cheers. William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep.